Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Chris and today we are going to be talking about speakers, maybe ones you think are obsolete but they're really not. How to make any speaker that has digital audio out or auxiliary into a smart wireless speaker. Please subscribe, please follow, share and like and hold on. So today we're going to be using one of the older Bose radio systems with the CD. Uh, specifically this is a Wave Music System model AWRCC1 and okay antenna aux headphone. That's all we're working with. So most of you these days want a smart wireless speaker system. Um, I get it. I have it everywhere. Um, but if you don't have it and you want to make a powered speaker like this into smart wireless technology, what we can do is we can buy a device, a Wi-Fi receiver, which also has Bluetooth as well as AirPlay 2, confirmed AirPlay 2. And this device you see here, okay, it's small. And it's called the CL Box. All right, Wi-Fi audio receiver. And again, it works excellent. It does what it says it's gonna do, and it makes any powered speaker into a smart wireless speaker that you can play any music through. Let's take a look what's on back. And this is wireless, like I said. On the back, we have ethernet port for LAN. You can hardwire it or you can go wireless. You have optical out, all right, you have the uh, WPS reset, you have the power, which is powered by USB-C, and the AUGS out. So we're actually gonna be using the AUGS out uh, and the AUGS in. Uh, I'm gonna use the auxiliary cable, as you see here. Let's go ahead, put this down. It is plugged in, uh, powered up, but now the receiver has to connect to your Wi-Fi network. So I'll go ahead and do that. There's an Apple download and we'll show you that. So the apps you're gonna download, if you can see here, are the Muso Player and Muso Pod, okay? And it's called the CL Box 0F7C. We'll select that device as such. And we'll go to next. And it's going to want to connect to the network. So we'll hit connect to network. And now it's connecting. It'll take a couple of moments to connect. So the device is successfully connected to the network. We'll hit continue. And you can call it by unique name. Okay. You can, because this is meant for um, multi room uh, audio and playing, we can keep it as the name it is here. Okay. Or we can call it, we'll call it. Bose Wi-Fi or something like that. So we'll go ahead and hit custom and let's hit and type in Bose Wi-Fi. Let's do that. So we got Bose Wi-Fi. We call it Bose Wi-Fi, okay? And then we'll hit the arrow over and now please wait. And let's connect to Alexa, okay? So let's go ahead and get started and we're gonna log in with our account and it's connecting the Bose Wi-Fi to uh, our language. So going through the whole setup now. And we want to go with the English US. We'll hit next. And it shows me the Alexa app. All right, and here it is. This is the actual screen of the Bose Wi-Fi uh, showing us how it does what it does. All right, we can now um, do various things. We go back and we can look at the different types of apps you can play music through and you'll notice that there's several good apps on here that people you know use a lot and often you have uh, iHeartRadio, you have Spotify, Tidal, Napster, QL Buzz, Deezer, Amazon Music. Um, so we'll go ahead and you know we'll try something. Um, and I'm actually going to try and play some music from YouTube 
uh, because of copyright reasons. We will go ahead and we'll turn on our bow system here. And again, like I said, we have it on you know, AUGS. So I'll hit AUGS, okay. Make sure the volume's up a little bit. And you can see here. This light here is solid because it's connected. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the song I just downloaded, which is not copyright and I'm able to play. All right, let's make sure the volume's up. And you should hear the music coming out of there. Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi audio receiver through an old Bose system. And again, this app and this device work through Wi-Fi, it works through Bluetooth, it works through AirPlay 2. Uh, DLNA or through various other uh, ways but uh, take any powered old speaker that has auxiliary or it has optical digital audio or RCA and make it into a wireless smart speaker it's as simple as that don't get rid of your old technology enhance it and make it wireless any questions comments Please uh, leave them. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And please like to help the algorithm. Thank you. And if you'd like to know where you can get one of these, leave a comment.